Throughout Fallout 4, you're likely to encounter some references to other games, movies, and pop culture. Some of those stand out from the rest for various reasons. Here are 12 weird references in Fallout 4. Number 12. Across the Commonwealth, you can come across sets of wooden blocks with letters on them. Sometimes, though, they're arranged in a specific manner, spelling out Gary. The name references Gary from Fallout 3's Vault 108, in which Gary was cloned multiple times. The Garys got upset and killed all of the non-Garys in the vault, creating a utopia. Number 11. Magazines can be found all around the Commonwealth and give rewards when read. One of them is Taboo Tattoos, which features a familiar looking iron helmet on its cover. The iron helmet is actually from Elder Scrolls V Skyrim and was one of the most recognizable elements of the game's ads and promotional material. Number 10. As you make your way through the castle tunnels, you can come across the body of General McGann, who is on the ground next to some bottles of Amontillado wine. Near him is a skeleton, which is behind a half-built wall. This is a reference to Edgar Allan Poe's short story, The Cask of Amontillado. You can also find a bottle labeled Montresor in McGann's inventory. In the story, Montresor takes revenge on Fortunato by chaining him to a wall and sealing him behind a brick wall, where he eventually dies. Number 9. In the game's intro, there's a scene that takes place in a meeting room that has a large circular table inside with a diorama of a mushroom cloud in the center and a man tensely gripping the nuclear hotline. These things are all references to Stanley Kubrick's 1964 film, Dr. Strangelove. Number 8. During the Secret of Cabot House quest, you'll eventually be taken inside a looty bin where Jack Cabot's father, Lorenzo Cabot, is being imprisoned by something called an Abramalan Field, which is a reference to the Book of Abramalan. According to Wikipedia, it tells the story of an Egyptian mage named Abraham, or Abramelan, who taught a system of magic to Abraham of Worms, a Jew in Worms, Germany, presumed to have lived from 1362 to 1458, approximately. Number 7. On an evidence terminal found inside the South Boston Police Department, there is a suspect file for a Nicole Connolly, who is charged with Grand Theft Auto. In the evidence crime logs, her name is shortened to Nico. This is a reference to Nico Bellic, the protagonist and playable character in Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto 4. Number 6. The Automatron DLC introduced a number of new items to the game world. It also introduced Ahab and Jezebel, a sentry bot and Robobrain, respectively. Their names are a reference to Ahab, the king of Israel, and his wife Jezebel, both of whom come from the Bible. Number 5. In Nuka World, a DLC for Fallout 4, there's a room that references Alfred Hitchcock's 1960 film, Psycho. The room is found in the funhouse in Kitty Kingdom. Inside the room is a mannequin holding a combat knife and a skeleton in the shower attempting to shield itself. Number 4. In the Union's Hope Cathedral, you can find a ghoul named Father Gabe, who is wearing preacher-style garments and is fighting feral ghouls. This is very similar to Father Gabriel, a character in AMC's The Walking Dead, who survives by locking himself inside his church. Number 3. In Fallout 4, you can find paintings all over the place. Some of them actually have Bethesda employees, or people who look like Bethesda employees, painted on them in place of other historical figures. One such example has Todd Howard taking the place of Napoleon Bonaparte in this famous painting. Number 2. Just short of the nucleus, you can find a lake with two skeletons hanging on a door that's floating in the water. This is a reference to the most well-known scene of James Cameron's Titanic film, which has a scene where the two main characters are hanging on a door that's floating in water. Number 1. Codsworth has many jokes and quips that he'll make if he's your companion, or even if you're just near him. One of them is... Ariel Papyrus and Comic Sans walk into a bar and the bartender says, Hey, we don't serve your type in here. <laughs> this is a reference to commonly misused and overused fonts. Come on, who doesn't love a good font joke? Alright, that's going to do it for this video about 12 weird references in Fallout 4. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Follow me on Twitter at Mitten Squad. I have a Facebook page also called Mitten Squad. Check that out if you'd like. My name is Paula of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.